Wantami Bante and Cialis. Good morning, everyone, and good evening to our Dharma friends in the Western Hemisphere. Welcome to Lesson 32, Chapter 4 on Five Door Processes. My name is Cynthia, the meeting co host, and we'll be helping Bante and everyone in today's session. May we invite Bante to start the teaching, please? Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Sadhu. Okay. Good morning, Cynthia, and good morning, everyone. Let's start our today's lesson, lesson 32. So before we start, let's pay homage to the Buddha reciting Namo Tassa three times together. Namo Tassa Bhagavado Arahado Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Okay. Uh, we have started the chapter four of Abhidhamata Sangaha. And this chapter, starting from this chapter, uh, chapter four, chapter five, and chapter six are related to the second stage of Abhidhamata, Abhidhamma examination. So in the lesson 31, I introduce about the, the cognitive process as mentioned in the chapter four of Bidamata Sangaha and two types of which two types of cognitive process, five door process and mind door process, those are repeatedly mentioned in uh, repeatedly introduced in former chapters when we study about the consciousness and mental feathers, and we several times talk about the cognitive process to understand how they arise. Okay. So this slide is already studied in lesson 31. So let's review again so that we make sure uh, to understand about the lifespan, lifespan of Nama and Rupa, because they can be the object of cognitive process. And the lifespan also important uh, to understand. So the lifespan of Nama and Rupa so the nama in the nama process, uh, the cognitive process is the, the process of mentality, the process of mentality, and that mentality is the 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 process of the mind movement. In other way, we can say that the mind movement, uh, mind movement arise and vanish. Arise and banish. So after that, another mind movement followed. So according to the Sutta teaching and Abhidhamma um, Dhammavara teaching, so Ekachara, as we introduce about the, the Dhammavara teaching, the, the nature of the mind, when they arise, one types of the consciousness with the respective associated man, the feta, they arise uh, only one type at a time in the group. That is one mind movement. <clears throat> so mind movement have the, the three sub movements. Lifespan is the three sub movement. So Upada, Titi, and Banga. Uh, the mental factor, as they arise in the group, they have the same lifespan with the consciousness. And also, you may remember the characteristic of 
manifestos is arising together with the consciousness and vanishing together with the consciousness. So they have the same lifespan. And the material phenomena, so seven, seven material phenomena, so here refers to the 22 material phenomena, is have the six, uh, six types. Have the 17 mind moments, 17 mind moments. So, so each mind moment consists of the three phases. So that 70 sub moment equal, so 70 moment equal to the 51 sub moment. That, that is the lifespan of materiality. So generally refers to the materiality. It means the, um, the materiality long, uh, the lifespan of materiality longer than, uh, longer than the lifespan of mentality 70 ti 17 times, 17 times. So when the materiality arises and taking that materiality as it is object, the mind arises. So, uh, for example, when the, the Bessiver phone, one of the 22, so one of the 22, the Bessiver phone arises and taking that busy weapon, as it is object, the mind movement arises for 17 times. And the, the base is the iron sensitivity. So based on the iron sensitivity, using the iron door, taking the object of busy weapon, the cognitive process, the mind movements arise one after another, the group of mentalities. And arise, present, and dissolution. So with, within three phases, they take, they, they perform their respective function, taking the object of busy form, and due to the times and vanish, passed away, then another mind movement take place. In this way, the continuum of mentality is running, like the stream, uh, like the stream water in the stream. So this is how the the mental process arise, taking the materiality as object, as it is object. Then okay, let's see. Uh, this also we already already study in the lesson thirty one. So. Or chakudarika chitta arise in this way. So arise in this way. The the four previous mind moments and the following mind moments are life continuum pawanga. They are not counted in the in the cognitive process. So the cognitive process start from the five dot avatin and eye consciousness etc. So. Taking the present visible form as it is object. So we already studied this in the in the chapter three. And in this way, the other types of the, the consciousness, sense consciousness arise in five door. So today we are going to study the five door process to understand. Then different. Taking the different objects, different objects refers to the, uh, the object uh, come to appear in the different doors. So different process of the five door process arise in this way. Then now we need to keep this information in the mind to continue our study. So the Dripanja Vinyana, Two set of fivefold consciousness arise, taking their respected object and visible form, sound, smell, taste, tangible object. And the triple mind elements and triple mind element, the five dollar apartin and two receiving, two types of receiving, when they arise, they just arise in the 
FIDO process, and they, they, we can say they take the five sense object, but they cannot take five sense object at, at, a, in, at the same time. And they just follow to the types of the sense consciousness. So when they, when they are in the eye door process and they take the visible form, when they are in the ear door process, they take the object or sound, etc. In this way, now we understand the, the consciousness and the relation, uh, the objects related to them. Then, okay, this also, this slide also, we study in the ch chapter, uh, in the lesson 31. And so due to the, the different aramana, different object, so the object, aramana, the name of object in Pali is aramana. But here, the, the word, the visaya poti, visaya poti is used. So we see uh, here, we see uh, is Aramana. So body is the the Aram, the object come into the avenue of the sense, sense faculty. So coming together, the object and sense faculty, the five door process arise. Although they, they are arising at the present moment, if they don't come into the avenue, especially the object don't, the objects don't come into the avenues of the sense faculty. The sense consciousness cannot arise. The condition, the sense, sense consciousness arising, the, uh, the condition of, one of the condition of the sense consciousness arising, arise is due to the object is coming into the avenue of the sense faculty, respected sense faculty. So this weapon arise and out of the avenue of the sense faculty, the eye faculty, eye sensitivity. So for example, the busy weapon behind me, that cannot give rise my eye consciousness. So when the visible phone come into the avenue of my eye sensitivity, then eye sensitivity can take that object, but not taken by like the mind, mind process. So coming together, these two condition and by the support of the other condition, light and attention. So the eye door process arise. That is why the Visaya, not only the Aramana, the Aramana uh, arising of the, the object as, as the condition of the sink stop process. So Visaya body. So Ati Mahanda, etc. So here Ati Mahanda, the great object already said there, and Mahanda, uh, sorry, Ati Mahanda, very great object, Mahanda, great object, prayed up slight object, a deep radar, very slight object. The, the only these four objects related to the phyto process. Okay, so now let's see the another slide. So this process of mentality is already familiar uh, to you. We already introduced several times. Then here, the P represent, representing the past Bawanga, which is called the Adita Bawanga in Pali. So when the, oh sorry, when the, the object of materiality come into the venue of the sensitivity, sensitivity material, materialities coming together. But at the moment, the object just arise and the, when the arising moment here, yeah, the, the past the arising moment, sub moment of 
the past Pawanga at that moment, the object is still weak because it is just the beginning. So uh, the object is still weak. Uh, it cannot be taken by the by, by the sense consciousness, sense consciousness. So uh, the it at least pass one time. So pass one time. That is why that uh, that bawanga is called the pass bawanga. Pass bawanga. Then the second time of the mind movement is called the vibration of bawanga. And it is similar to the vibrating, vibrating. So uh, due to the impact of the object to the sense sensitivity. So the bawanga is shaken. Bawanga is shaken because they are connected. Uh, they are connected. The not uh, in the one process of the men mentalities, uh, they are right. They are connected each other. That is why when the sensitivity is striking by the object, so to do the striking of the two two materiality, the bawanga is shaken, and after that, after that moment, the bawanga arrest. So it is the last moment arrest bawanga. The last moment of the the bawanga. Process, Bawenga process. After that, no more Bawenga arise. And the five dot process, a five dot a button, which is included in the in these cognitive process, the in the moment of cognitive process arise. So when it arises, the Bawenga cannot continue. That is why that is called the the, the last moment is called the arrest Bawenga. So Given the opportunity, the opportunity to the five dot abatins consciousness to arise, the bawenga stop. That is why the these three bawenga, although they have the they are the, in the same types of the previous bawenga, they have the different names. So past bawenga, due to the the object is weak, to be to be the object of the this process this is called the past bawanga and second is called the vibration of bawanga and the third one is called the arrest bawanga and here in three three moments only when the present concrete matter which is called the nipana rupa in pali is an object uh, the past bawanga is necessary it means the when the present concrete mat matter is, is an object, there will be the past bawenga. If the past or future concrete matter of the other, uh, other mentalities, um, the mentality including the, the Banyati and Nibbana, uh, the past bawenga is not necessary and also a bus Puenga will not be there. So it will step from the vibration of Puenga and arrest Puenga and it will continue in the process. So here they emphasize where we need the bus Puenga or where the, the mind, the, the Puenga in the nature of past bawanga arise the mind movement in the nature of past bawanga arise is only when the present concrete matter is an object so <clears throat> we will know what are the concrete mat concretely matter nipana ruba in the chapter six so at that time we will we, we can identify what are the nipana ruba and now if i introduced for that. So for Mahabud and so the four Mahabuddha, Mahabuddha is the, so great elements and the object, basic weapon, etc. And also the sensitivity materialities, etc. They there are 18 Nipanaruba we will understand in the chapter six.
So now we need to know the, the time we need the bus bawenga or the time the mind moment of bus bawenga arise uh, to arise is the only when the present concretely matter is an object. The other objects appear in the mental process as a as an object. At that moment, we don't need the bus bawenga. Instead, it will start the after the, the bawenga continuum. Then the vibration of Wenga, arrest Wenga, and pi dot apartments or mind dot apartments will start. And this is the way how the, the cognitive process run. Cutting off the Bawenga, and sometimes in three moments and sometimes in two moments. So why it cannot directly arise the phi dot averting consciousness whenever as on at the object appear the object enter to the avenue of the sense, sense faculties. So it is the example is given that the, the man is running in speed and although he, he wished to stop, he cannot stop immediately and two or three steps passed and then able to stop. That is why the Bowenga process is running. Although the objects already appear, already enter to the avenue of the, uh, the mental process. It cannot stop. The Bowenga process cannot stop because the Bowenga process is running and along in the speed, running in the speed because arising many times. So past the three times or sometimes the two times if the object is not present, concrete met concretely matters. Okay, so when the any of the present concretely matter appear uh, in the venue of the sensitive materiality. So let's see how the object appears. And here, <clears throat> so as we have classified the objects according to the uh, their quali qualification. So, so very great object. At that moment, only one pass bawenga. So only one time pass bawenga and vibration of bawenga, arrest bawenga. After that, the five dot of Aten have the opportunity to take place. Then the process run. So we already studied th this process. We don't need to mention again. So here, the the arising moment of past Bawenga is already passed. This is the beginning of the, the process. So this is called the Upada of the materiality. It means the, this, the arising moment of past Bawenga and the arising moment of the visible form. So for example, if we are taking this, <clears throat> the Indo process, so Indo process, so visible form start to arise this precise moment of sub sub moment this sub moment with the together with this sub moment and uh, that visible form vanish with this this moment the last moment of the left sub, sub moment of second registration so the duration if we count the seven, 17 moment, my moment, less, it is lifespan. So this is the first moment. This is Opada, and this is the last moment. This is Banga. So if we remove these two, and there the 49 sub moment remain for the present, present pace. So we understand the materiality, materiality less 17 my moment and including three sub moment, the arising moment, one sub moment and dissolution moment, another sub moment. And the rest 49 sub moments are the present pace of the materiality.
And this is how the very great object come into uh, the venue of the sense faculty, eye faculty, ear faculty, etc. In the same way, when the, the voice, the sound, the object of the sound come into the venue of the ear doors or ear sensitivity. And at that time, that if it is the very great object, uh, the pass going out one time and start and continue to the uh, second registration moment. And at the end of the second registration moment, the object, the lifespan of object uh, also gone. So lifespan disappear. The, the object disappear the, at, the mo at the moment of the second registration. That is why the Bawenga continue. The Bawenga continue. In this way, the, we can understand the lifespan of the materiality and lifespan of mental mentalities. And when they start to arise, and we can classify the types of the objects. So these types of object, person, one time, bawenga, the, and sub, surviving 17 mind moment, it is called the very great object. This process uh, consists of the registration. This, this process consists of registration. And so this is called the Dharamana Wara because the registration Dharamana. So the ending with the process ending with the registration. This is called the Dharamana Wara. We can name. So Dharamana Wara, the object is very great object. Okay, let's see the another two process. So for the very great object, how we can say we can recognize them as the very uh, as the great object, great object, Mahanta Aramana, Mahanta Aramana. So uh, here the past Bawenga two times, two times of past Bawenga, because the when the past Bawenga start, so the object already starts here, the object start. The together with the past past bowenga uh, arising pace of the past past bowenga. So this starting point of the object. If the object start arise start to arise here, and here yeah, registration cannot arise because according to the nature of registration, when they arise, they arise two times. They cannot arise only one time. So they arise two times. Thus. It is not enough time. After the Jawana, the only my only one my moment is remain and for the lifespan of the object. That is why the registration does not arise. Instead of the registration, the Bawenga continue. So lifespan of the great object start the Pass pass bawenga among the two uh, of the two pass bawenga. So pa, pa, starting from the arising pace of the pass pass bawenga is less seventeen my moments. So uh, the pass bawenga we can see the after the the jawana the bawenga process were runs. So. That that Bawenga process, the past moment of that Bawenga process, at that time the the object is still uh, continue in their life in it is lifespan. So uh, the dissolution phase, Benga Banga phase, <clears throat> up to the the moment of dissolution phase of the first Bawenga, the lifespan of great object continue, but it end with the jawana, no registration. So this type of cognitive process of the sync store process is called the great object. It consists of the two times of Paspawanga. And another cognitive process 
three times of past Bawanga. And here, the, the lifespan of object end up with the, with the dissolution phase of the last Jawana. So seventh Jawana. This types of cognitive process is regarded as the great object. So uh, there are two, two types of cognitive process taking the great objects, great objects. So, so one process has the two times of past Bawenga and the other process has consisted of three times of past Bawenga. Because they end with the Jawana, no registration, that is why these two types of cognitive process are named as Jawana Wara. So the course end with the Jawana. So now we understand that three, uh, three of 15. So each six door process can uh, diff can different can be different in 15, 15 types. So as we counted in the lesson 31, so each door related to the each door, there are 15 process can arise. So for five door, the 75 five door conscious five door process uh, are recognized. So now we understand that three. So taking the very great object, one types of the process ending with the registration. Taking the great object, uh, two types of cognitive process arise ending with the Jawana. So they are called the, <clears throat> the Dharamana Wara and Jawana Wara. Then let's see the is six. Uh, Six process of slight, slight object, slight object. This is called the, the Prita Ramana, the slight object. Taking the slight object, because the object is very, uh, the object is slight, not great. It can come into venue after passing have at least four times of past Bawenga, four times of past Bawenga. So uh, starting from the arising pace of past past Bawenga is continued according to its lifespan. But up to the, the end of lifespan of the object, because the past Bawenga take more moments. So the remaining moment lesser. That's why it is not enough to arise the Jawana because that in according to the nature of the consciousness, when they arise generally, the Jawana arise seven times as we introduced in the lesson 31. So the Jawana arise seven times, generally arise seven times. If it is not enough my moment, the Jawana does not arise. Instead of the Jawana, the, in the process, the determining my moment, determining consciousness repeat, uh, sometimes for three times and sometimes two times. So it can be uh, three times or two times arise. Then the Bawanga continue. So if we recognize the lifespan of the objects, it starts from the first uh, arising phase of past Bawanga and the dissolution phase of the fourth Bawanga, fourth Bawanga after the process. So the lifespan will continue according to it, it, is, uh, it is lifespan, so 51. But the mind movement will change the types. The types of the mind movement in the cognitive process will change. So the cognitive process here, the determining, uh, ending up the determination, de determining consciousness, and the Bowenga process follow. 
although the the lifespan of object remain, but according to the nature, uh, the mind movement of cognitive process cannot arise. It gives the uh, the opportunity to Bawanga to take place. But the Bawanga, although they are included in the lifespan of the object, they don't take the present, uh, this present sinks object as their object because they have their, uh, their uh, respective object. So gamma, gamma nimeda, or gadi nimeda, as we have learned in the chapter three. So Bawenga, including the past Bawenga and vibration of Bawenga, arrest Bawenga, uh, they all take the same object as the Bhattisandhi, the same object of the Bhattisandhi, uh, whether it is gamma or gamma nimeda or gadi nimeda. They never change their object when they arise. That is why, the, starting from the Advartin, Fidol Advartin, uh, Fidol Advartin, and uh, sense consciousness, receiving, investigation, and determining. They take the present sense object, present sense object, the slight object. Uh, but the Bawanga, they take their uh, ordinary object, their usual ob uh, object. So, the process we can see the starting from the five dot to the the third moment of the determining. These are the cognitive process. So, seeing that the cognitive process is become short, shorter. When the past point of moment longer, the the cognitive process shorter. Then, this is the first type of cognitive process taking the slight object. Then. The second process for the slight object. Here, there are past bowing are five times. So the, the former one, four times, and then the five times past bowing are. So still, it continues in, in the same way, ending with the determining consciousness for three times. And, but here, the lifespan shorter. So the third bawanga, the dissolution moment of the third bawanga become the end of the, the lifespan of the object. In this way, we, we can understand the sixth time or second bawanga up to the, the second bawanga and seven times of the past bawanga, the process. So the, the first mo the past bawanga, the end of the first bawanga, it is the end of the lifespan of the object. And so eight times past bawanga, the, the object and with and together with the the dissolution phase of the third determination, that determining. And they are also the, according to the nature determining object. When it arises in, uh, in the process of slight, ob slight object, taking the slight object. So it arises two times. Only when it arises just before the just before the jawana, it can arise one time. So without the jawana, uh, the nature, according to the nature, the determining consciousness arises two times instead of. The, uh, instead of the jawana. So at least two times. If it's one time, it cannot be, it cannot be a separate process. So one time connected to the jawana. And if there's no jawana, instead of jawana, it repeated at least two times. But all the more than that, it can run three times. So taking the slight object as, the, as it is pro is object, the cognitive process arise, ending with the determ determining consciousness. So it runs two times at least. So when the past bawanga occurs five times, it means because the object is slight, slight object, the, according to the qualification, the slight object, uh, 
many times of up to the nine times, nine, many times of the past Bawanga arise still does not have the opportunity to vibrate, so to vibrate or to arrest. That at that time, so the past Bawanga uh, already arise and vanish, arise and passed away, arise and passed away and for nine times. After that, the Bawanga uh, vibrate and arrest. Then the fight doll, Avadin, get the opportunity to take place. So in this way, up to the nine, the object is regarded as the slight object. Still, we understand the fight door, Avadin, eye consciousness, etc. they can arise. So taking the slight object as, as it is object, the mind moments run, then the, the types of the mind moment, including the, the determining moments, they can run in this way. They are regarded as the six process uh, connected to the slight object. Then these six object, these six process are called the Watapanawara because, uh, because they end up, they end with the determining consciousness, the determining moments. That's why they are called the Watavana Wara. Then another six types. Those taking the very slight object when they arise. So it's because the object is very slight. So after about passing away, the, the Bawenga, past Bawenga for 10 times for 10 times, the remaining moment, after 10 times, if we take the Boeing, uh, vibration of Boeinga, arrest Boeinga, after that, the only five moment remain, only five moment remain. It is not enough duration to arise the determining consciousness, determining mind moment to repeat two times. That is why, The determining consciousness cannot perform the, cannot repeat two times because the object is not enough duration. It's just gone the one time, uh, this will be one time of the first time of the determining consciousness if we compare to the, the, the less process. So it is not enough lifespan remain for the second determination. That's why the first determination also cannot arise. If the mental process, there is no determining to determine the, the object, that the process cannot run to cut off the Bawenga. That is why taking the very slight object as it is, it is object, the process just make just become the vibration. So, so vibration of the Bawenga two times. Then the normal uh, Bawenga run. So if we count the object appear, object can go object could uh, enter to the avenue of the same faculty. But because it is very weak due to it is the qualification is very slight. So it cannot cut off the Bawenga process. Just shaken two times. So vibration, vibration of Bawenga, then the, the Bawenga runs again. So in this way, starting from the 10 times of past Bawenga, the object just due to the object and sensitivity coming together and they strike, but very, very slight. So just shaking. In this way, another six types of process can run in our mental process. Sometimes if it is very great, one time pass Bawenga and the continuum, continuum of the cognitive process of mind movement run. And if weaker than that, so just great object, two times or 
the three types of the fast bonwenga and these two types of cognitive blocks are run in our, our mental process. Then it's the more than uh, weaker than the weaker than these great objects. So it is called the slide object sit types, starting from the the, uh, the four times of fast bonwenga up to the nine. Then if the pass bowing got longer because of the, the object is very slight. Up to 10. So starting from the 10 times of pass bowing got, so not enough duration to arise up to the determinant. So the other consciousness, five dot a button also does not arise. And just vibration of bowing got arise. So vibrated, the, the bowing got is vibrated and they, they strike off the object to the faculties. Then in this way, uh, the sit types can run. So just the difference is more uh, past bawanga and less the following bawanga, my movement. So the, for the, the last one, in the process, which consists of the 15 past bawanga, so at that time already started the bow, the object already started uh, 15 times moments. Then so two times a bowenga, a vibration of bowenga, and the second vibration of bowenga at the dissolution moment of second vibration of bowenga, the object, the, the lifespan of object ends. So the there is no uh, the 16. And past bawenga, no process considering of the system past bawenga. This is the generally agreed. This explanation is generally agreed by the scholars. But our a bit of a scholar of the uh, the famous scholar of the the Ganayong Siaro, Ganayong Siaro, this is called the Shenzhenaka Biwansa, uh, explained that the another types of the process also possible. Because when the condition is there and no one can reject the result. So the condition for the five door process, they have the respective condition we already studied before. For example, for the, the iron door process, iron door process to arise, the condition is iron sensitivity must be in, in the present moment. And visible object must be come to in the um, must come into the venue, venue of the eye sensitivity, and there must be light, and there must be attention. So here, attention and does not mean the uh, the any of the 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 five door abiding or mind door abiding. This is the nature. So the mind process turning towards to the object, turning towards the object. That is called the attention here. So um, due to the four condition come into the present. So the, the result will come out. So the result means the mental process. Due to the condition, the mental process arise. So there can be, it can be possible for the system, uh, past bawenga, past, and the only one mind movement of, of Vibration also possible. The, that is the the explanation of the our Brunei scholar Brunei Sarawak Senagabi one side explanation, but mostly explain the fifteen. That is why uh, for the five door there are 17, seven, 75 types of the five door consciousness, five door process. <clears throat> So if you think this is very complicated and then you just <clears throat> uh, classify the object into four. So very great, Ati Mahanda, great Mahanda, and slight object, Prita, very slight, Ati Prita. And the very great for pass Bawanga one time and great pass Bawanga two times and three times. And starting from the four times is called the slide. And you just need to understand how the, 
the sync's process can run up to the 15. It's okay in this level, we, if we understand this way, it's okay. So in these six process, due to this object is very slight, there's no uh, cognitive moments, including the five dot avatars. And so this six types of the sync stop process are called the Mokawara. Mokawara, Moka is, uh, we can say the empty, um, it is vain because it is the absence of the cognitive mind moment, the uh, real cognitive mind moment, just the Boenga process, but it is fast and shaken due to the striking of the object, just changing. That's why this is called the Mokawara. Okay, now uh, we, we understand the 75 process, how they arise. So let's repeat the four full presentation of objects in five doors. So the objects, according to the objects, so Ati Mahanda, very great object, Mahanda, great object, then um, Pratam, slight object, Ati Prita, very slight object. And there, as I give the introduce the name of the courses, or it's called the Wara in Pali. So the course ending with the registration is only one. And the course ending with Jawana, only two types. Taking the, the Mahanta Aramana, great object. And another, the course ending with the determining, Watabana Wara, because it ends with the determining, Watabana. So Watabana Wara, six. There are six projects and taking the slight object and six, six process arise, they are called the, the course ending with determining Otavana Wara. And the, for the last one, it is called the, the four time course, Moga Wara. There's no, the real cognitive process, uh, moment. Then here, one time pass Boenga and okay, second, two, second and two times pass Boenga, we already know just to, uh, Rebuild so six, 10 to 15 times, still enough duration to arise the, the second determinate, determining moment. That is why uh, this is called regarded the break Ramana and six, six process. Then the last six process. So, okay, here's a pass power guy is wrong, so it must be a uh, we must change this here. The breakdown number three must be the four to nine. The number four must be the 10 to 15 times, 10 to 15 times. So we have to we change the orders. Okay, so this is uh, the classification of the, um, the types of the process in the five door. Okay, let's continue to see the seven moods in five door process. So we understand taking the respective object that the things process of five faculties arise. Eye door process, uh, ear door process, nose door process, tongue door process, and body door process. So although the, the process is different according to the object and the faculty, according to sensitivity. And so the types of the conscious now, the same, very similar. The only difference is the second moment. So the first one, the Panchadwara Vajana, the Pi Dot Abhajan. In every, every, any of the Pi Dot process start with the Panchadwara Vajana. So the Pi Dot Advajan. Then the second moment is Vinyana, same consciousness. So, uh, one of the the Dwibanja Vinyana, one or the two set of five four consciousness run. That's so that's called the Vinyana moment. Then the after that, as you know, they are receiving the Sampadichana moment and investigating Sandirana moment and Watavana determining moment called which is called the Watavana. After that, the Javana moment. So Javana moment seven times. Then the Raramana registration, this is the 
is seven moods in the five drop process. Now we need to know that what are the seven moods uh, in the five drop process. So, okay, now the consciousness run in the seven moods. If we count the, the number of the consciousness, types of the consciousness, according to the classification we have studied in the chapter one. So Pancharara Vajana, this is the only one types. So included in the, in the rootless functional, so one of the three rootless functional, that is only, only one type of five dot avadin. So if we count for this mood of the mind movement, we get only one. And for the second mood, second mood, the sense consciousness, so it can be different into tens. Sometimes see, seen at that moment, the I'm conscious now. So if the I'm consciousness is the resultant of the wholesome, so wholesome resultant I'm consciousness. If the process is result of the unwholesome karma, produced by the unwholesome karma, the object is. So that is at that time, the, the unwholesome resultant I'm consciousness arise. In this way, in the mood of the Vinyana, and any of the 10 Dripanja Vinyana can arise. That's why here uh, in general enumeration, we can count the 10 consciousness in this mood. Then for the Samprichana, two types. One is the wholesome resultant and the other is unwholesome resultant. So any of them, according to the process, if the, the process uh, arise due to the object produced by the wholesome, Kama, wholesome karma, the, 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 the types continue because this is only one type, no difference. And here there must be the wholesome resultants, any of the wholesome resultants of Dibbanja Vinyana uh, according to the, the object, types of the object. And then the receiving consciousness also the wholesome resultant and also investigating consciousness also wholesome resultant in this way. So investigating consciousness three, in this mode, there, there can be three types of consciousness. And then for the Vatavana, Vatavana refers to the mind dot abutting, which is included in the, in the three of, one of the three functional, rootless functional consciousness. So this perform, the mind dot abutting perform determining function in the five dot process. We already studied this in the chapter three of the compendium of function. Then here, since Pia Jawana, in the five door process, you may remember the in the five door process, among the, the 55 Jawana, only 20, 29 since Pia Jawana can arise, can run in the five door process. The other remaining 26 sublime Jawana cannot arise in the five door process. They just arrive. The sublime Jawana 26 just arise in the is in the mind door process, mind door process alone. So related to the five doors, we just get the 29 Jawana out of the 55. So we get the sense pure Jawana 29. So they also, or they cannot arise the different types at a time in, the, in one process. And they arise due to the condition. For example, if we see something and then uh, if the, the condition of a uh, condition of the wise reflection, Yoni Somana Sikara, the wholesome Jawana take place for seven times. So seven times must be identical. So seven times of the wholesome Jawana arise by, through the seeing or hearing, etc. So this is why the this is called the due to the condition, according to the condition. Then so at the moment of Dharamana, uh, Dharamana's moods, uh, there are altogether 11 types of consciousness that can run 
as the Dararamna. But for investigating consciousness, we already enumerate in this in in this content. So we don't need to repeat it. So we just take number eight. So altogether, uh, 50, 54, 54 types of sense pure consciousness occurs in five dog process in seven moves. So if we count the state, so state means the, the frequent of the, the mind movement. There are 14 states. If we count the Jawana for seven times, it becomes the, the 14th state of consciousness run in each of the five door process. This refers to the, the maximum, maximum cognitive movements of the very great object, the first class. So now we get the seven moods and the types of the consciousness, 54 sense pure consciousness. So now you understand only the 54 sense pure consciousness can run in five door process. Five door process. It means the prime material sphere, immaterial sphere, and sublime consciousness or Mahakata Lakutra consciousness cannot arise in the five things five things door and also five, uh, five types of process related to the five door. It means you cannot attain the jhana through the seeing by an eye, your physical eye. You cannot attain the jhana through the uh, hearing by the physical ear, etc. So in order to attain the jhana and mega phala, there must be the mind door process to arise. So through the mind door process, we can attain the, this attainment. So this is this five door process related to the sense peer consciousness that just arise in the, through the five doors. And this is common to us for the beings. But the special attainment come into uh, the mental process through the mind door alone, mind door alone. Then now we see the 14th state. If we count the 14th state, state one, one, one state of the Pancharara Vajana, second state of the, the Vinyana, the I consciousness, etc. And Sambhichana, Sandirana, Vatavana, and seven times of Javana, we, can, we have to count one after another to, to complete the 14 states. Then two times of Dharamna. So seven moods in 14 states. Seven moods. As, sorry, 14 state in seven moods, the 54 consciousness arise. This is uh, the information related to the five top process. Okay, now let's continue about for more information about the five top process. So according to the plane of existence, in the sensual planes, all five top process can arise. But sometimes for those who are blinded in the mother's womb, and so in the mother's womb, the blindest, we call the, the blind born person. Uh, they, they don't have the iron door process, but we cannot say this is the absence of the plane or existence. This is the absence of individual. That is why for the indi individual plane, we can see the all five door process can happen or can, can occur. Then for prime material planes, what types can arise here? Iron door process and ear door process can arise among the five. So the other three, nose door, ten, tongue doors, and body door process cannot arise in the prime material planes because uh, these sense faculty are absent in the five material, sphere, five material planes. So this five material plane refers to the, uh, to the 15, except the asanya sada. In asanya sada, no cognitive process arise. So in the 15 five material sphere, conscious, uh, five material plane of existence, 
there can be eye drop process or ear drop process because they have the, that sense, uh, sense sensitivities. So among the five, two can be, and the three absent. And we have to uh, remember, otherwise we can misunderstand the, the Brahma can, can taste or can smell or can, can know the ten, tangible object, can aware the tangible object in this way. So the, according to the process, this, we can relate it, the, the, we can relate it, the Dwara and the, the explanation Dwara and the plane of existence, how it related. Okay, this uh, 28 is said the process is very great object. Here also um, in the Brahma Wa, the very great object, it is said that very great object cannot arise. That's why right. it said the very great object too. Uh, only 28 types can, can run in the five material plane. So in material planes, the, there's no five door process because there's no materiality to base on or to take as the object. That's why in the immaterial, uh, we, we know now that three types of plane or existence uh, in respected plane or existence, how, uh, what types of mental process can arise. Then according to the plane of existence. So let's focus on the jawana. In the sensual plane, the all sense pure jawana can arise. So you may remember what are the sens sensual uh, sense pure jawana. So it's sense pure jawana 29. Now we know the which consciousness can arise in which realms too that we can identify. So in, in the sensual plane, all the jawana can arise. And in the fine material plane, the sense pure jawana is a true a hatred rooted jawana. So hatred rooted jawana cannot arise in the, the fine material planes because that the beings in the fine material planes are called the Brahma. To be reborn as the Brahma, one must uh, already suppress, uh, suppress the, the fight mental hindrances to attain the jhana. So after the attainment of the jhana and the, the being can be reborn in the Brahma wa. That is why before the attainment of the jhana, jhana level of meditative attainment, he already he suppressed the, the, the javara nivarana, so which is related to the hatred rooted. That is why the hatred Rooted consciousness, in other way, hatred rooted jawana cannot arise in the, the five material plane of existence. So the other uh, 27, 27 sense pure jawana can arise in the uh, Rupa Vachara realms, so five material plane. Now, in material plane, plane, we don't need to say because there's no FIGO process. So no consciousness related to the five door process cannot arise in the immaterial planes. Then, so let's see according to the individual. So this, this process, this five door process can arise in the wildling passings, wildling passings, you, you, you already know the four types of wildling passings and the fruition individual. So Sada Bhadi Palatana, Sakaragami Palatana, Nagami Palatana, Arada Palatana. So four warling passing and four fruition passing. So all together in eight individual. So the five door process can run in eight individual. So or can you guess in which individual they cannot arise? It means the there remain only four persons, four individuals remain. They are the mega, the, the, the individual of the path. So at the moment, at the precise moment of the path consciousness, it is called the, the individual of the path, the megatana person, megatana individual. 
So it's called the Sota Bati Megatana, Sakaragami Megatana, Nagami Megatana, Arhata Megatana. They um only for a moment, only one moment of the path consciousness. That is why the, this process cannot be uh, in that person's mental meant process, only one my moment less. That is why. Uh, if we count the part, the individual related to the five drop process, we get the eight individual of the wildlings and fruition. Okay, for the last part of the, this explanation, uh, in the mother is one, mother is one. If we uh, conceive, if we are in mother is one, what types of uh, five drop process can arise? So here, so only ear drop process, tongue drop process, and body drop process can, uh, can arise uh, in the mother's womb. Because to arise the mental process, they need the specific condition. So in the mother's womb, the being can hear, can hear the, uh, the voice, uh, the sound, a mother's song or etc. Mother's voice or so the ear door uh, can rise. And also there already arise the tongue sensitivity. Then uh, it can taste the, that beings in the mother's one can taste and can know the tangible, uh, the, uh, can aware to the tangible object. So the body door process, only three, three door process can arise in the mother's one. This is related to the for the Kavasiaka. <clears throat> and sometimes for the like a Dewa who born immediately, so they are not, uh, they, they don't need to live in the mother's form. So the, the, this explanation does not relate to the Dewa or, or hungry ghost, etc. So here, Aindor process, so the absent of Aindor process. Why is absent? Is the, the Aindor process. Uh, needs the condition of the light. So in the mother's womb, the absence of the light, there's no light, so cannot see. But the eye sensitivity already arises in the mother's womb, but it cannot take the object because the absent, due to the absence of the light. So the eye door process cannot arise in the mother's womb. And also the nose door process cannot arise due to the absence of breath. So uh, no, no breathing, no breathing. That is why cannot know this, cannot get the smell. That is why the no door, no store process also absent in the mother's form. And uh, this is the information why we need to know regarding the five door process. And for this level, this is quite enough. I am afraid that I'm giving too much information for the beginners. If we start for the beginner levels, then we just need to know the, the suitable, suitable amount of the study. Okay, now I'm going to stop here my explanation and let's continue to the discussion. Okay, first question. Uh, for meditators who are practicing vipassana, are they able to discern all their mind moments in their present life and past lives? Thank you, Bante. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Uh, it, is, it is not easy to, 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 to discern all the moments because, you know, the, to see the, all the mind moments, uh, to see the all the mind moment. So here, discerning uh, can be in different types. So this is not related to this lesson, but you know that just I'm I'm right to uh, discuss for some instance. Uh, mm. the, the discerning collectively, the discerning collectively and discerning uh, specifically. So discerning collectively, it's possible he can reflect. So uh, in order to identify the, the gamma, what types of gamma is done and what type of result is, uh, is produced like this. 
it can be possible. But for the whole life, all the mind movements, you know that they, it take long time, if, even if it is short. So the, the mind movements also many million, millions of billions of the moments. So it is, it is impossible to, to follow up the specifically. But uh, the, the important moment can be, can, can be designed by the, by, by, by the consciousness of the Vipassana, but not, not necessary to all moment to follow up. Because you know, the, the, we already passed the, the countless life, lifetimes, countless lifetimes. If we follow to that, it will take ma- so many millions of years. So it is impossible and also not necessary. And just to make the strong determination related to the conditional phenomena, uh, all every conditional phenomena are under the, the impermanence, sufferings, and non so This is the reason why the traditional or vipassana uh, need to discern the past condition, past, past life and the past, uh, past mentality and materiality. This is the only moment, the only purpose. If it is uh, ac- accomplished, it's not necessary to follow, to, to discern everything. Okay. Greetings, Mante. If a person has mind reading psychic power, does he read others' mind by knowing their mind processes exactly? Could Mante explain how one exercises the mind reading ability? Thank you, Mante. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay, for the past part of the question, they are, it is right to, to, un, to know the other person's mind properly. Sometimes, you know, this can be divided into two. The one can and knows the other's mind through the, the, the psychic powers or the, we call the, the supernormal power of the, uh, the abhinya, abhinyanas. And that person and knows the other, other person's mind process and exactly he knows. And the other types, uh, other, other people can know through the, the dewa, assistant of the dewa, so that types of person cannot know the other's mind process. Then for the second part, <clears throat> if you want to practice the, the supernormal power of mind reading, this is called the prachita vichanana, you need to uh, attain the, here according to the Abhidhamma classification, the fifth jhana, but according to the sutra classification, it is a fourth jhana. Up to the fourth jhana, you need to uh, you, you need to practice to attain the fourth jhana, and you you have to be mastery. After that, you need to learn how to make the preparation for the uh, special ability. So this is you know the how to reflect on how to reflect on the object. So my, making the resolution, making the resolution, and I'm. I wish to know the other person's mind like this. Then in combination with the, that, uh, the power of, the power of determination, the power of the Janak's, Jan, Janak's power, then uh, it, if you successful, it is promoted to the Abhinya level. Then by, the, by, by that knowledge, you can understand, you can know, you can read the other's, other's mind. Um, but you, that process, you, you need to mastery, uh, mastery for the full jhana. And also you need to practice with the determination, with the determination that is called the, uh, the preliminary, <clears throat> I say uh, the prikama, prikama of the, <clears throat> Prachita with Janana. And it is mentioned in the Visuddhi Mecca, but it, but it's not easy to explain in short time. So, so the process need. So you can ask the your meditation teacher after the attainment of the full jhana, and you can ask the meditation teacher how I I should um, I should make the preparation and make determination and how I should you know, practice for that. It is better to ask the, the your meditation teacher to guide you. 
Pante. When meditators discern their past lives and future lives, they need to discern materiality and mentality to the past and the future. How could one discern their future mind processes if these minds have not arisen yet? Thank you, Bante. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Uh, when discern the past and future does not mean <clears throat> not all past and all future life moment. So uh, let's start for the past life. So if the, the meditator discern the past life need to discern the, the materiality, mentality, that's right. So for the past life, it's okay. And for the future life, uh, so we cannot say that is exactly uh, where, where arise. So as we have understand, uh, we have understood the the consciousness, materiality, everything arises due to the condition. And if the absence of the condition, if the condition is absent, they cannot arise. So the, for the future mind process means the, the possible condition, based on the possible condition and based on the, uh, the possibility of the mind process, one can know if the condition uh, completed uh, condition are completed. They, they, the process will run in this way. Uh, he can he can discern it. So it is very uh, not easy to explain the, in this way. If although it is not uh, not yet arising, it can be uh, the the process the the object of the our mind process mental process. So just to to see so you just to consider about that you are thinking, making the plan. You're making the plan, something to do. So I'm doing something after this, this class or like this. If you're thinking, the things are not happening yet, but you, uh, you can think. It means you can take me, uh, your mind can take the object. Your mind can, can take uh, them as the object. The, what you are doing or you are considering about I'm going to do something in by my, how to say that, my hand or my computer with my computer or something else. So although that real me mentalities and materiality are not arising yet, but you, you can think, you can think me, you, your mind can take them as the object, but they are not the exactly the, uh, the same as the, Discerning the future um, mind process. So, discerning the future mind process uh, um, take the object of the the and you say they are, that is the reality. But if you are thinking that that is the you are thinking just the concept, they are taking the conceptual knowledge. So this is the the how we can imagine about the future process future mental process, material process are not happening yet, but they can be the object of uh, the minds. This is how we can cast. And if you want to know how really uh, can be the object of, how really the future mind process can be the object of, of mind, although they, they have not risen yet, you, you, you should practice. To, to 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 experience yourself, and then you you can understand. According to the theory, uh, we can we can explain in this way. But it is not easy to accept. Easy, uh, easy to accept for those who say, or oh, it is impossible in this way or in that way. Okay. Dear Pante, Pante has explained <laughs> that baby in mother's womb is able to hear the mother's sound. If the mother tries to share with the baby dharma or chanting during the pregnancy, will this be very be beneficial for the baby? Thank you, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Yes, in some way we can say that that is beneficial because uh, that the dharma, uh, if the mother is sharing the dharma and then her mind related to the dharma, this is a very good condition to support the baby. <clears throat> so. Uh, in some way, it can affect to the babies, babies' the nature, babies' nature. And 
because uh, the the baby cannot understand at the moment, mostly cannot understand. But sometimes, you know, there are very intelligent babies who already fulfill the parameter and many <clears throat> uh, many lifetimes. So they can they can they can feel it. they can think the the things of the dharma. And for the ordinary baby, they just can can receive the influence of the the, the um, mental influence and material influence of the dharma related to the mother's mind. So it is beneficial, I think. So you you it is better way to do that, the chanting towards that. And also the one example of the body, uh, the the prince of the body, uh, he was recognized as the person who take refuse um, in the mother's womb, starting from the mother's womb, because the mothers share this, that, that type of the taking refuges to the triple gym with the child, with the child. So it is good idea to share the Dhamma with the baby. One dummy Bante, in the process of remembering something, my door, where we have tried hard but still cannot recall, is this included in the very slightly or weak process as explained just now? Thank you, Bante. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Uh, okay, here there are, as I mentioned, they, these objects, four types of objects are related to the five dogs. They are not related to the mind or that is fine. Even if there's very slight object or something, uh, it does not relate to the mind or process. The, my, the object related to the mind or process is Awi Buddha, uh, obscure, uh, obscure object, a clear object and obscure object. So they are not called the slight. They are called the obscure. So that's why the slight the object uh, related to the fight or process alone. So not related to the mind or Greetings, Pante. In the fine material sphere, uh, Rupa, why is that? Why is it that very great object could not arise, while other objects are okay? Thank okay. you, Pante. Okay, okay, very good question. So uh, we need to explain this. And you may remember for taking the very great object, uh, the process arise. That only one pass Bawanga and is up to the Tararamana and two times Tararamana. So you may remember I once I explained the, the nature of the Dharamana, the, the Dharamana related to the sense fear beings and sense fear jawana uh, and sense fear objects. So three uh, characteristics or three conditions needs to arise the Dharamana. So the in the Rupa Rupa Vachara uh, beings. They are not the sense fear beings. That is why by the absence of that, that condition, the Dharamana cannot arise. So due to the Dharamana cannot arise, it cannot be regarded as the very great object. That is why the, the process of the very great object uh, are absent in the five material sphere world. And that is because the Dharamana moments cannot arise there, okay. Dear Bante, there was a story about a uh, venerable Sariputta past life. He was chanting Patana in a cave and 500 bats listened to his chanting. Because of this, they were reborn to the Dewa world and later became his 500 disciples. In this case, can we say that the chanting of Patana is a great object and that is why the 500 bats resulted in good rebirth with high wisdom? Thank you, Bante. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay, so in this question, so I need to make a correction. First, uh, that is not the, the person is uh, the person chanting patana, uh, chanting the abhidhamma. That, that is not only patana. That is abhidhamma is not a believer but sariputra. These are, are the disciple of the the kasapa, uh, kas, kasapa Buddha, the disciple of the kasapa Buddha. Uh, they recite, they chant the Abhidhamma teaching in the caves, and the the their five hundred beds listener, they chanting, and they became the disciple of the Bhinavasariputra. 
So 500 disciples of the Brinivas Ariputra and related to their past life. So the reason why they get that uh, that relation relationship to the relation to the, the to the Abhidharma teaching, they becomes the the past disciple group for the Abhidharma learner, Abhidharma Abhidharma learning. So the Brinivas Sariputra teach them. At the same time, the Buddha, uh, Buddha preached to the Dewas in the Tao Dinsa Dewa realms, and the time of the Pindapada come to the human realms and then preached to the uh, Brinivas Sariputra in short way. And Brinivas Sariputra uh, hand, uh, hand over the, the teaching of the Abhidhamma to, the, to his 500 disciples. In this way, they become the first group of the Abhidhamma learners from the Brinivasari Putra. So the reason, uh, the, the good condition to become that group is not uh, for the special, uh, for the being special of the object. So they know the, <clears throat> the, the bed, the, the, that is the com commentary explanation. So the bed, they understand the monks are good person, the very uh, good Good, good human, good person, and they satisfy their chanting, although they don't know the meaning. And then, because of their, uh, I want to say the uh, pleasant, good attitude. So we can say that the, because of their good attitude toward the the monks, and when they recite, also they listen. Uh, pain, respect. That must be the condition. That that must be condition. Uh, the uh, life of the beds, they could not understand the meaning of the Abhidhamma, but that they hold some conscious now, uh, paying respect to the monks and paying respect to the Dhamma. That becomes the cause of the uh, uh, the cause to become uh, the first disciple and then to receive the, the benefits from the Abhidhamma teaching. Okay. Good morning, and one dummy Siado. Please, Siado, advise what process arises when an in, when individual sleeping, no context of five doors. What Bawanga name on this process? And second question: What are the pro what process arises when an individual have dream in a sleeping and the third question when the time of month baby in the mother's womb the process arise anumo dami wa seado sadu 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 okay <clears throat> the, and the for the first question that when the person is sleeping so with sound sleep uh, that boenga is we call the ordinary boenga is normal so that Boenga is similar to the, the, the Boenga moment arise between the two process. That's the same, but it have the longer duration continuously, yeah, the continuous longer duration. That's why we, 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 we sleep. We say that we sleep. We sleep mean we are not aware. We are not aware to the objects, to the uh, specific object that is that is called the, we call the normal Boenga, or, original Boenga. And not shaken or not passed, not related to the pipe, the pipe door. This is called the just Boenga. And <clears throat> about the dreaming, <clears throat> we will discuss this in the mind door process because the dreaming, at the time of dreaming, uh, there cannot be a pipe door process. That will be mind door process. So we will talk about the dreaming process in the mind of process when we discuss about the mind of process. And the last question for the last question, <clears throat> uh, the time uh, the time when the, um, the, the process arises in the, in the mother's womb. So we need to understand the, the time the sense organs arise. So due to the, the arising of the sense organs, and we will 
uh, identifying the when they can start, when the, the process can start. So the only three process, uh, the ear process and time process and body process can arise due to the, the accomplishment of the, the complete condition. When the condition complete, it can arise. Uh, with the uh, with the condition of the attention, so manasikara. Uh, if the other condition are already in the present, so for this to answer this question, we need to wait for the chapter six. In the chapter six, we will discuss in which week, in which week or in which month, the the organs of the baby arise to complete according to the Abhidhamma explanation. So we will discuss this number three question in the chapter six. Greeting Bhantes. Why there is no registration for fine material planes? Uh, this is uh, due to the, the nature of the consciousness, due to the nature of the consciousness. Uh, nobody is making, nobody is managing the conscious not the process are running according to it is law. This is called the chitta niyama. So according to the chitta niyama, the law of the conscious now, the registration cannot arise in the material planes. We, we cannot find the specific other reason. Greetings, Mante. What is the purpose of knowing the cognitive processes of very slight object since there are no sense or cognitive process? Thank you, Bante. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Uh, yes, the reason why we we identify these six types of consciousness, although there is no uh, the cognitive mind moment, we just uh, trying to uh, identify the mental process to understand the completely due to the condition how it happened. So. If there's the, the bowing guy is running, we don't need to say any cognitive uh, process is arising. So no cognitive process arise because the bowing guy is, is, is running in their nature. And if two bowing guy, you, you understand that the in very slight object, the, the process of very slight object, only the shaking vibration of bowing guy two times. So if we don't classify that if the, the 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 in, the person the practitioner designs the his men, mentalities and the meditator when were aware that two times of the vibration vibration of bowing goes and through the designing of the mental process uh, it can make understand what 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 is that or that is why the explanation about the the very slight object come into the study study process. So that due, these two vibrational process are due to the uh, due to the object striking to the sensitivity. So that because of that condition and the vibr the bawangas uh, life containers are shaken. A uh, uh, vibrate vibration comes. So that is the benefit. Uh, you, from the study of the process related to the very slight object. Otherwise, we, can, we cannot identify without this explanation. So why this happened? Why this happened? And the meditator may have the, the problems to, to, uh, to understand. So I think this is the, the, the reason we, sh we should know. Uh, we, we, shouldn't, we should study the process of very slight object, although it does not contain any uh, but connected to the present object. Okay. Okay. May Bante lead us in making aspiration and sharing of marriage, please. Okay, let's make aspiration and share our marriage to all beings. Please repeat after me. Imina punya kamina. Imina punya kamina. Mami bala samagamo. Mami bala samagamo. Satam samagamo hodu. Satam samagamo hodu. Yawa nipana patiyam. Yawa nipana patiyam. 
Idame bunyam. Idame bunyang. Asawa kaya wahang hodu. Asawa kaya wahang hodu. Idame bunyam. Idame bunyang. Ibana sa pachayo hodu. Ibana sa pachayo hodu. Mama bunya bagam. Mama punya bagan. Saba sata nang ba jemi. Saba sata nang ba jemi. De sabi. De sabi. Me samang. Me samang. Punya bagam labandu. Punya bagam labandu. Sadu, sadu, sadu. Thank you very much, Pante, uh, for, the, for your teachings. And thank you very much and everyone for your time and participation. Till we meet next week, may all be well and happy. Sadu, sadu, sadu.